since this prod entered into the area I even heard them calling but look like yesterday they were calling into the area Morris from uh, Bushlash early in the morning just let us see. hear the line calling areas of Cheetah Cut line look like they were headed towards north and we were thinking it could be a, a female line that I mean calling on that area to relocate the members of the pride special from um, Kuhuma females and also we, we did not know that there's part of land that were not far from us that were in our neighborhood but they were heading into the north most of the time they're silent into the area when they enter into the area mainly male lines but this time of the day like him is getting active now he's been up for at least five to ten minutes no matter what mine do you try to vocalize to announce into the area that is around look like the old lazy lying down again the main point why they don't do that is because they're still looking for Kuhuma females to join with the Kuhuma females and kill all the cubs that they can really join in I believe if they're able to push uh, Jose or kill Jose and take over from Kuhuma females most of the time we will get to see this part of land because Kuhuma is the only part that are active here furthermore into the north and they won't go to the other areas where because Kuhuma females is that territory around into the area here they will stay around the area of the area that they declare is their own territory for hunting and surviving so even this male join up on Kuhuma part kill the cubs they weren't able to steal Kuhuma pride furthermore into the west because down west there's the other female pride that really this pride of uh, lions that kick the males or kill the male and take over from the females the female will respect the boundary they won't cross over, they won't overlap because that it will be trouble it will cause them trouble the moon is more reddish in color that caused because of um, sun itself it won't able to reach the I mean moon won't reflect that is uh, infrared from the it's a light that goes around the shade of the earth and really it it, it, it really catch just tip of the of the moon itself it reflects on thank you Sue question comes from Creston from England if I'm not mistaken she wants to know why the female lion after mating she roll on the back it could be fertilization after mating yes it is it's a part of uh, mating rolling on the back is one of the things that lion, female lion do the most and that is to ensure after mating that is it's really really a, I mean it's one of the things that lions naturally do it could be because of um, when they do that um, normally it could be fertilization from the female to receive or to I'm not sure exactly I won't be lying but it's, it's natural for the lion to, to do that it will be part of fertilization could be true but we normally get to see that most of the time another question from Kathy Yes. Uh, do lions get hairballs like domestic cats do? Hairball is that like when they cough their head like from licking, they get the uh, hair in their mouth and they just put it down. Okay, copy. Yeah, uh, copy that. Uh, it look like. It's a question coming, uh, apology, it's a question coming maybe from Sharon, I didn't copy that clearly. That the lion... Uh, it's Kathy. Thank you. A question coming from Kathy, she wants to know that the lion can really cough a hairball. Um, it depends actually what the lion has eat, or actually a cat, or it could be leopard, it could be lions. It's really it, but we tend to see this kind of behavior 
from hyena into the area. Hyena do that a lot of time. And also lion do that. Sometimes we tend to see lion eating grass or leopard eating grass because of the bo of the hair that it really makes the animals to cough now and then. It can spill that out. It can do that. But uh, for the extra information uh, on the question that Kefi, I mean, email us just now. If you look at, uh, you just, I mean, remind me, or talk about the hair ball that lion have actually naturally. A lion is a species that uh, have naturally on the vocal box, it have a hair ball that called Puziwa, Puziwa stone. It's something that plays in the middle of the vocal box itself and it act like a wafer system. It's how actually the loudness of the lion come from, travel very far. It stays, it stays inside there, it won't spill it out. But anything that lions eat, as far as high that really can stick on the throat system, you find that the land cough, it really gonna, I mean, spill it out by eating grass and others. So it really can throw it out. But the hair ball that they have literally, it won't get out. It's placed in the middle of the vocal box. It's really, really, um, it's giving more a heavy, heavy sound called Bozua stone. I believe Kathy will answer a question and extra information on it. Thank you very much to email us. We're looking forward to questions. Sneezing. That little bit could be hair, hair that stick on the nose and not on the throat itself, spitting out as we were talking about the hair. These brother plants are active. It's only one of them that really can show us the way where to go. But we're waiting here because we can able to uh, get one at a time. But most of them it look like they're really really up. I can hear one coming from the right. We should have to touch that. Maybe is the other one that tried to move back from the other side. It's still away. I heard him as well. Yeah. Look at this one here. It, now and then it's just, I mean, sucking air and pointing into the north. It could be getting scent of other animals that might be in it. Trying to get information while it's lying down is a part of hunting. You know, you, most of the time downwind it has from the lions Anything that might be further more north, they can able to send that, get information from here, and they can able to go directly where the animal coming from, or where the animal are. This is how the actual lion hunt. They use sense of hearing, sense of smell, and eyesight. Eyesight is very good for the lion at night. They can see something coming from the distance. As you can see, most of them are up, so it's because of light is not good, but we hope they will get up and move now. And they're gonna show us what actually they're up to. It could be a uh, dominant issue. They're looking for female. 